okay engineers all over the world thank you for continuing the tutorials up to this extent this is episode 9 of this tutorial and if you haven't watched this tutorial from the very beginning click on dentist studios go to my videos and watch this tutorial right from episode 1 so that you will understand what I am doing you know I promise you guys that I'm going to choose a plan and analyze everything from beginning to the end then put them into a template to be ready for printing because that is what you guys demanded that is the popular demand from my comments and my timeline so I'm going to show you everything how I did it and put it inside template and it will be ready for printing so without much ado let's continue in our last tutorial that was episode 8 I had taught us how to export um, the slab analysis into Orion and into AutoCAD sorry and edit so if you want to export your slab analysis because this is the slab analysis we did together we did this slab analysis together yes we did it together so if you were not here in our past tutorial just click and continue from the previous episodes so i told us that you just click here once you click here you click ok ok i had already exported that that's why it's popping in our episode 7 so once you click like that it has exported that very slab analysis into orion into autocad or rather so once it is here you can equally edit it you can equally edit anything and change it and keep the way it's supposed to be understand maybe if you wanted to lift this thing you can lift it but before i continue from there let's export our um let's export our our footing if you want to export footing into autocad you still do the same thing you come to here the um, bottom left of the screen you will see column there you will see uh, uh, this column foundation details once you click on foundation details you create new detail sheets just click on new detail sheet you can choose your paper but I choose a zero here you click OK once you do that just pick your mouse onto the screen hide your mouse your cursor into the screen and click it once you click it your foundation details will appear look at it your foundation detail has appeared and if you want to take it back to AutoCAD as it has appeared you just click on DXF export once you click on it you click OK it will automatically carry the foundation details into uh, AutoCAD so here you can edit and do anything on it understand so once you have successfully because those are the things you need to transport into AutoCAD even if anything that you want to transport into AutoCAD once once you click on it once you stand on that story and click on it just click this DXF it will export to AutoCAD automatically then another thing that you need to do is the beam well me I don't normally use the beam here I can use I can equally use the the top story understand either the top story or I can use story one like this then I can delete every other thing remaining the frame then I can use it as my beam if it were a continuous story because this one is not just like a continuous story beauty you can stand at your last story because your, your last story your last loading will determine how the beam uh, how the beam will look like understand so you can just stand on it if only I had loaded this story understand as the beam would have clicked here then once it don't get to AutoCAD I edit but since it is like this let's continue it uh, this way so those are the things you 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 you, you need to do 
those are the things you need to do so after you might have done all these things like this and export all the structural details into AutoCAD like now we have exported the slab analysis we have exported the column analysis into AutoCAD for those of us that followed me we have uh, we have exported the what again the beam analysis into AutoCAD for those that followed me right from the beginning look at it even if you want to edit anything just click on it and you can edit and we have exported what else our foundation details so the next thing that we need to do now is to create our template look at it look at the format that i used to create my template for those of us that wants to create the template once you come once 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 you open your autocad come to layout once you click your layout understand you go to your input data file output sorry output data file i'm using autocad 2021 click on output data file output and then once you click on output you click page setup once you click page setup you click modify then the dialog box will pop up change your and uh, this thing to default your name your printing plotter to default windows then change the paper size to a3 once you change the paper size to a3 you you fit it let it be at landscape understand then you can change your this thing to millimeters your scale to millimeters then your scale you can choose it to be one is to hundred depending on what you want so that your page will be set up like now this page is set up because i want to print it in a3 so that is why i set this page in a3 then after that let your borderline fit into that a3 like my own has done now look at my borderline is has fitted into that a3 properly so that once i pl uh, print it everything will be inside the a3 now you now go back to those things that you exported then you write you 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 you, you highlight it and press ctrl c copy once you press ctrl c copy you now bring them into that template understand like now that is how i did that is how i did you can copy it into that template these are the things that are inside my template my 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 logo is inside the template then consult this is my phone number then the next thing is the scale one is 200 the months that i did this uh, very project the file reference checked by my company then this is the project where the project is located understand this is what i wrote then the clients of this very project you write it must be on the template then all these things here note these are engineering words note all drawings are to be read in conjunction with all relevant architectural drawings one is to three is to six mix for all mass concrete one is to two is to four for all reinforced concrete high yield of characteristics of at least 14 and uh, newton per millimeter square all dimensions are in millimeters that mean abbreviate t denote top while b denote bottom do not assume request for further details and clarifications or call dan console which is my company engineers shall not shall not be held responsible for jobs not supervised by them and this is my sheet number understand those are the things that needs to be on the template then after that you copy all those things and put them on the template and give them their names so that is how to do it it is very very simple very very simple i want to thank you all for standing by me watching this tutorial from the very beginning to the end of this session thank you so so much that is what i did as you can see here this is the column this is the beam inside my template this is the 
foundation